Welcome, friends. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino company, Ortelino.com. My name is Dieter and I'm the owner of this little company. Well, we are located in a rural area of beautiful Bavaria near the Bavarian Alps. And Bavaria is in the southern part of Germany. Well, um, what is the Ottolino Company? Oh, we've sold art prints, mainly Japanese prints, in weekly online auctions since 2001. So we're already 20 years old and we have no gallery. We are exclusively online. In this video, I want to present only, only exclusively contemporary artists from the current auction 1706. And if you are a regular viewer of our auction catalogs, our online auction catalogs, you probably noticed that uh, we show more and more contemporary artists, and not only Japanese artists from all over the world, uh, the UK, uh, American artists. Well, and today you will see mm, so roughly mm, dozens of these and nearly all of these artists that I present in this video they have been selected by me personally so you can call them the artists of my heart. Um, okay let's just start and I show you the images and when I can tell you a little bit about the, the uh, print okay I say a few words but apart from that, uh, no more talking. I try to keep my mouth shut. Okay, and let's start with the, yeah, the first one. Ryusei Okamoto, an oldie but goodie. Ryusei Okamoto uh, has consigned to us, I think, for 15 years. And this is from a series called First Love, where he shows um, cute, beautiful, young um, Japanese um, girls and he has two more in the current auction and the next one is a vase with flowers. Um, next Paul Binney. We made an extra video um, about this print and the next one uh, by Paul that we have in the current auction so I should not talk so much about it this is from a series um, about um, the changing of the role of women from 1900 uh, until um, our days. And this shows a woman from 1900. And the next one shows your Maimon Gallery, um, uh, not your Maimon Gallery nonsense, your Maimon Gate in Nico. Okay. And here we have Linita Shimizu. Linita Shimizu, she was trained in Japan in traditional woodblock printmaking, and she uses um, traditional Japanese uh, woodblock printmaking methods. And her teachers, one was Tokoriki Tomikichiro, and then Yoshisuke Funasaka. And Yoshisuke Funasaka, well, he makes practically abstract um, woodblock prints and you can recognize the, the influence. The art of Linita, this is all about the perfect balance, the perfect balance of color, of design, of texture. And just a detail, look here how she shows the, the grain of the wooden block. Wow, beautiful. Another one also by Linita Shimizu. Well, this is um, from a series, The Four Seasons, I think. Yeah, and it shows autumn. Well, the same. Perfect balance of colors, um, shapes, um, design, texture. And here, Laura Boswell. Laura Boswell, a leading printmaker from the UK. Um, her prints are in the House of Lords and also Laura Boswell, she was trained in Japan and she learned woodblock printmaking. And then there is something special. Uh, Laura makes woodblock prints, 
but she also makes lino cats. And many of the ways um, of the, you can say, little tricks uh, of printmaking that she learned in Japan for woodblock printmaking, where she now applies it to lino cat. And when you look at her prints, it's relatively difficult to recognize, hey, is this a woodblock or is this a lino cat? Or for instance, typical for Japanese prints, bokashi, gradation, yeah? She introduced it for lino cats and her lino cats thus get a, a, a much higher level than um, what we are used normally from, from lino cuts, which is regarded as a kind of a printmaking technique for beginners, not for Laura Boswell, my friends. Next one, I'm talking too much. Also Laura Boswell, and this is a lino cut. Look at that, fantastic. Next one, I'm talking too much. I have to be, oh, Stephen McMillan. Stephen McMillan, US printmaker from the state of um, Washington. He likes nature, he likes hikes, hiking, and he makes wonderful aqua tint prints, handmade, yeah? The basis are photographs, but they are handmade. They don't look like that, yeah? And this is in the current auction, <laughs> this is the favorite uh, one with a bunch of counter bits. Oh, you still have one day to place a few more counter bits on this one, by the way. So don't be shy, don't be shy. Next one, Daniel Kelly, top worldwide renowned uh, printmaker, born in the US lives in Kyoto, so American, Japanese, a little bit like Clifton Korhu, and with the same reputation. And, uh, well, this is a, a fantastic, impressive, and it's a real eye catcher. Next one. Osamu Sugiyama, like Ryuza Okamoto, an oldie but goodie. And they joined uh, the Ottolino auctions about at the same time, Ryuza, I don't know how I met him, on the internet, of course, and then he immediately recommended his friend Osamu Sugiyama, and both are hot sellers in our auction, and I like them both, oh my God, yeah. Osamu Sugiyama, there's also something special with me, because uh, Osamu Sugiyama is a passionate hiker, and I also, I also like to go into the mountains. They are not far away from here, 20 minutes by car. Another by Osamu Sugiyama. This is, uh, I think that is Grindelwald in Switzerland, yeah. And he doesn't take it from, from any, uh, pictures uh, for, made by, by others or from newspapers. Well, these are all the experiences of his hikes. Of course, during his hikes, which are rather adventurous, by the way, uh, he takes photographs and then when he's at home, he usually um, makes a, 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 a painting sketch and then he starts to make a, a woodblock print. And this is now Yuchi Hiratsuka. Yuji Hiratsuka, uh, born in Japan, works as a professor um, in Portland at the University of Oregon. A kind of, you could say, ukiyo-e pop, a mixture of Western art and, and ukiyo-e, always witty and always um, very intellectual in my, in my view. Also here, Yuji Hiratsuka. And this is Koichi Maeda. Well, in the current auction, we have two by Koichi Maeda. Well, this one shows the house of a rich merchant, uh, an old house of a rich merchant. And the next one, an old barber shop here. Uh, these old barber shops, they could be recognized in old Japan by this sign here. It's interesting. And um, yeah, these sketches, they come from a special old village in, in Japan where they still conserve these old Japanese um, houses, especially the country houses. Koichi Maeda, by the way, 
um, neglected outside Japan, in my view, during our 20 years of existence. We've hardly ever had him. And then came a German collector. And he had a huge collection of Koichi Maeda. They sell like hot potatoes. Uh, but they are now running out by and by. So uh, this is a really, uh, this is really a, an excellent recommendation and an opportunity that might not come back. I really mean it, my friends. I really mean it. Our next one. Kunio Kaneko, also woodblock prince. Kunio Kaneko, um, he started at the famous, um, I think, Musashino um, uh, University of Art or something like that. And he specialized so a little bit on, on classical themes, a little bit stereotypes. So um, what foreigners um, see as Japanese, but nevertheless, excellent, excellent. And he is a very high uh, technical standard. And his prints, by the way, are um, too cheap, too cheap, yeah. Also, this is a woodblock print, my friends, woodblock print. Next one, Yuichiro Kato. Yuichiro Kato creates um, screen prints, silk screen uh, prints. And this is something from uh, the Bunraku Puppet uh, Theater. And these silk screens, they often look like photographs. And the basis is a photograph, yeah. And then um, the artist and when I say, I should say the artist, because his son, Hideaki Kato, he works in the same technique. Uh, then they alienate this, and this is a complicated process. Um, let's jump to the next one. A new artist, an emerging artist, emerging, young, very, very promising artist. Um, Cameron Bailey, remember that name, Cameron Bailey. Uh, Mokuhanga, uh, woodblock prints, even um, many of these are so-called reduction woodblock prints. I'm not going to explain that now or the video takes too long, but just in enjoy these wonderful prints. And here we've arrived at the last one, also by Cameron Bailey. Well, we've arrived at the end. Um, Today is Saturday and it is uh, October 13th, 2021. And this current auction 1,706 uh, will end tomorrow. Our auctions always run over one week and end always on Sunday, 8 p.m. Central European time here in Germany. And we are usually six hours ahead of you guys at the US East Coast. So uh, pay attention to that. And I would be pleased to see you in our auction. All the prints that I showed to you right now, you can bid on them in the current auction. Got it? Wonderful. I wish you a good week and take care of yourself.